Yo, what's going on guys? It's Rez. In this video, I want to show you guys some of the unique items that I've received playing through uh, the Wonderlands demo that we have. Now, these are the three things that I've came across. I'm not sure if you can get legendaries in this demo, but I have not seen one. But if I do, be sure to stick around because I will be posting videos on those if I do see any. But as of right now, this is all I've gotten. So if we actually just go take a look at everything, I have a Vorkinir's Cog which it says what kind of god can die then it says on ground slam launch a home and fireball forward so normally a ground slam doesn't do anything this is gonna launch a omen fireball forward which makes it really really cool but again we don't have access to amulets in the demo and then we also have a melee weapon called the crusher or the frostbite of the crusher so cold it burns so we have frostbite melee attacks always apply a fire status effect and then we also have warrior which i'm pretty sure is just uh, like a rolled thing that can come on any melee weapon but melee attacks increase your damage reduction and melee damage dealt by 5.3 percent for 10 seconds and can stack up to five times so obviously that's a pretty good melee perk but the main thing is that your melee attacks are always going to apply a fire status effect and it does cry damage so it's you know so cold it burns but then we also have a uh, goblin's blade of the stunner a preserve charisma fueled by avarice so goblins bane melee attacks deal 100 damage against enemies above 95 percent total hp we also have echo melee attacks deal 7 percent of all non-melee damage dealt by the fate maker over the last 10 seconds as bonus damage and resets its bonus again another very good melee skill pretty sure this can't just roll on any melee weapon but the main thing is the goblin's bane so you're gonna get that 100 more damage so if i go over here really quick and show you guys we have goblins being equipped right now so as you see this dogfish has max health as you see 511 damage now if we actually go to uh one we weaken it a little bit so we'll see what the melee damage does now 152 so you see that effect can absolutely destroy somebody especially if you play really really heavy into melee you're gonna be doing some crazy things with that but now if we actually go over to the crusher you're gonna see that yes it does cryo damage but it also is applying that status effect. And of course you get those stacks up, you can start to melee a lot of crazy stuff. And you can get some really, really cool melee builds going. Um, so clearly this one is not doing as much damage as the stunner, but it does have the effect to apply two status effects, which could be really, really good in some builds. I think even the uh, stab mance right here has a thing. So you can apply a status effect with your melee. And then if you take things like exploit the weakness, so how many of our status effects on an enemy, they're gonna actually take uh, more damage your base is kind of debuff to them so now your melee can pretty much just always apply uh, a debuff which is giving an insane amount of damage to you uh, even though it doesn't do a lot of damage so that that's some crazy synergy you could do these are just the uniques i have right now i really wish i could show you guys the cog but we don't have access to amulets but anyway that's gonna do it for me i hope you guys enjoy if you dig consider sticking around doing all the normal youtube stuff but thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace